Welcome back. And hello, everyone. This is Matei from Team AmpleNote, and I will be walking you through today's video. We will be learning about tags in AmpleNote, why to use them, and how to use them. We will cover the most simple ways of using tags for filtering your notes and tasks. And we will take a look at how hierarchical tags work. In AmpleNote, whenever I want to see a list of all my notes, I can navigate to Notes mode and scroll through this list on the left. If you can't see this in your own client, use the toggles at the bottom left corner to reveal this panel. That said, the more notes I create, the longer this list will become. The longer the list, the harder it is for me to find what I'm looking for. If I happen to remember parts of my notes title or contents, I can definitely try to use the search bar to find my note. But if I can't always recall the right keywords, I might be stuck scrolling through hundreds of notes. This is where tags come in. Tags let you organize your notes based on their type, area of life, or project they relate to. In that regard, they are similar to folders or notebooks from different apps. For example, this note about renovating my home office is a project. Also, I can decide that it relates to a specific interest of my life called home building. Now, this note has two tags assigned to it. In AmpleNote, a note can have any number of different tags. I can also use tags to delimit whether a note relates to my work life or my personal life. For example, this video script I started writing is a work note. All of my created tags appear in the sidebar. Use the toggles in the bottom right corner to toggle this sidebar's visibility. If you are on mobile, swipe right to see the tag sidebar. So, let's look over the various ways to create, assign, and manage tags in AmpleNote. First off, if I already have a note that needs organizing, I can click on Add a Tag and start searching for the tag that I want to apply. This note relates to my personal goals, so I will create a new tag called Personal, followed by Enter. With the sidebar visible, we can see that my new tag was added to the list. If I want to tag another note with my personal tag, I can also simply drag it and drop it onto a visible note in the note list panel. If I'm editing the title of a note, I can press tab to jump into the tag field, and then a second tab press will jump into the note contents. From here, Pressing Shift tab will jump back into the tag field. I can also create a tag without assigning it to a note. To do that, I can go to the tag panel, click on the triple dot menu, and then choose Create a new tag. I will create a tag called Checklists from here. You can think about this as creating a new empty folder. This folder can group together all my checklist notes. So I will assign this tag to my blog publishing checklist note. To quickly jump to a group of related notes in AmpleNote, I can click the name of the relevant tag in the sidebar. When I do this in notes mode, as shown here, this will show me all the notes tagged with personal. If I do this in tasks mode, however, this will show me all of the tasks created in notes that have the personal tag. And if I do the same thing in jots mode, it will let me create new daily jots under this tag. Remember when we said tags are like folders? Well, just like folders, tags can have subtags which can have sub-tags, and so on. 
We call this nested tags or hierarchical tags. I like to use nested tags to group together tags that describe notes based on the same criterion. What do I mean by that? Well, in my Ample Note account, I might have notes relating to work, as well as notes relating to my personal projects. The criterion to separate these notes is the area of my life they relate to. So it makes sense to have these two tags closer together. So what I'll do is create a new tag called area. Then I will drag my personal tag into the area tag. And I will also do the same with my work tag. Now I have a hierarchy of tags, area slash personal and area slash work. My areas are grouped together visually and are easier to find. When I am organizing my notes, I can simply type the word area in the tag field and choose the area this note belongs to. Doing this also means that I don't really have to remember the names of my areas off the top of my head because they are suggested for me by the autocomplete feature. Another way to use nested tags is for separating your notes from your tasks. For example, I know that the core of my to-do list is going to be split between projects and habits. So perhaps both of these tags should be part of a parent tag called to-do. I'll show you another way to create a nested tag in Ample Note. I can go to my habits tag, click on the triple dot menu, then Edit Tag Settings. From here, I will rename my tag such that instead of habits, it's called to do slash habits. The forward slash tells Ample Note that we are talking about a hierarchy of tags, where to do is the parent tag and habits is the child tag. When I save these changes, I will see my new tag hierarchy in the sidebar. This means I'm ready to simply drag my projects tag into the to do tag. And just like that, my tags are now neatly organized and easier to find. In Ample Note, tags are used to split notes into various folders or categories in order to make notes and tasks easier to find. A note can have an arbitrary number of tags. And finally, nested tags work like subfolders and are useful for organizing notes in a hierarchy.